guys, hope you're all alright. I'm really sorry that I have been a bit absent on the YouTube world for the past couple of weeks. I've just been really busy because I finished all my exams for uni and now I finished second year and I've come back home as you can probably tell by the backdrop and now I really want to get back into making more regular videos. So I'm going to do my May favourites which I know is a bit ridiculous because we're well into June now but I'm still enjoying using all of these products and I, I like had a list of these products and I've been meaning to film this video for the last two weeks so I thought I'll just do it now, better late than never. Um, I've got mainly makeup because that's just more fun and a couple of hair bits so I'll do the hair bits first and then get into the makeup. So first up for hair that I have been loving, it's the L'Oreal Elmet hairspray but it's like this travel size one that I just can't get enough of because it just fits in my clutch bag that I take when I go out so I can just sort of like keep my hair really volumised or like curled when I'm out. Um, it's just much easier to fit in your handbag. Sometimes I take like a satchel and big hairspray cans don't fit in there. And plus it's great hairspray anyway because it kind of, I mean I got it in today, my hair's quite big I suppose. Um, this is like extra strength with volume and pro keratin. I'm not really sure what pro keratin is. I think it makes your hair stay kind of straight and less frizzy. So I've really been enjoying that. And I think this is the one that Cheryl Cole endorses, you know. If Cheryl Cole actually uses it, then it's good enough for me. Um, next up, hair care wise, we have the John Frieda Full Repair Perfect Ends Deep Infusion. And it's in the box because I need to take some videos for this for my, I mean, pictures for my blog. Um, basically, it just looks like this. And it's kind of their answer to Moroccan oil. I think it's a really good alternative to those kind of more expensive oils for your hair. I just literally use one pump of this um, when I've uh, wash my hair and I just put it through probably from here to the ends mainly on the ends though because it is kind of four split ends um, and then normally when it's dry as well if it's still looking a bit dry you can actually use it on dry hair too so it's really good if say you're going to go out for the night and your hair looking a bit tired you can just kind of spruce it up put it in the ends and they don't look greasy at all they just look really moisturised um, yeah, I really have noticed a different difference with this, so I definitely re recommend this as a good cheap alternative to Moroccan oil. I think it's about six pounds. I mean, that's going to last me so long because it takes one pump to do my hair. And um, yeah, what else was I going to say? Yeah, oh, John Freed is always on offer, so I actually got this with some other stuff. So like, it's never normally actually like six pounds as well. That's so really really good. Okay, so on to more makeup y stuff. Okay, this isn't technically makeup, it's nail polish and it's Barry Ann's Peach Melba. And I have been loving this in May and in June and just the whole year since I got it really. It's just the perfect peachy colour. Got it on my nails today, as you can see, and in quite a few of my other videos, just because it goes with everything. And I'm just obsessed with peach and corals right now. I like everything I wear. It's so, oh, it's peachy, it's corally. That's just what I love. Really good for for spring and summer so yeah it's really and they're like 1.99 2.99 2.99 which is just really ridiculous for nail polish next up we have the Topshop cream blush in head over heels now normally i have to use my teeth to open this oh no look i did it <laughs> it's a little compact which is so cute with the top shop top shop dots on it and as you can see it's kind of like a corally peachy colour again because I love the peach and the corals. I've got it on my cheeks today so that you can see what it looks like and I really I really enjoy using this. I apply it with my Real Technique stippling brush as I do with all my cream products and um, it just adds a nice sort of glow to the apples of my cheeks. Really nice sort of summery colour uh, and this was really reasonable as well. I think they're like around the five pound mark so that's really great. And I've got other, other three colours which I really want to go and collect now. Another thing that I was loving in May is this accessorised highlighter and I haven't really heard much about this and normally I'm kind of sceptical of things I haven't heard much about because people will tell you when there's a good product out and I'm like oh yeah I must go and get it but this I just saw and I wanted a liquid highlighter because I like sort of cream and liquid products rather than um, powder ones and I thought oh well it's like 7 99 that's the kind of tube that will last you a very long time and I absolutely love it. I will maybe do a swatch, oh, yeah, the, the bottle's a bit messy. Um, I've just got out way too much. 
there it is, kind of like a shimmery peach. And if I just rub it in, you can kind of maybe see the light reflecting off it. And I always put it, I've got it all over my hands. Um, I always put it on my cheekbones, um, on the cupid's bow to make my lips look bigger, just in these bits of my eyes, so my eyes look wider and on my brow bones to define those. And it's just a really nice, subtle shimmer, not too sort of glitter ball -y. And I've also started mixing this with my foundation, either my My Mix My Face Cosmetics uh, foundation or my Bourjois Healthy Mix. And it makes them even more sort of like glowy and radiant, which is what I love from kind of like a foundation. So that's really good buy. And there, and last but not least, we have the Natural Collection Lipstick in Apple Blossom. And I'll do another swatch of this on my very shimmery hand. There you go. And I kind of just smushed that a little bit, but there it is. And I did a post on this on my blog because it's just the perfect kind of peachy, again, <laughs> uh, peachy pink nude. I've got it on my lips again today. And it's $1.99 and I think it's probably quite a good dupe for Mac Shy Girl or Mac Hue. And I've just been reaching for this so, so much. I mean, I never ever finish lipsticks, but this may well be the first lipstick I actually finish which would be quite an achievement. It's really easy to apply as well, and really moisturising, you literally just pop it on, you don't need a mirror or anything, and I think it kind of complements every skin tone. Just, you just go and get it for 1.99 really. So, yeah. So those were finally my May favourites. Um, I hope they were worth the wait, and I will hopefully be back with lots more videos, much more regularly from now on. Please do rate, subscribe, comment, check out my blog, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!